in an attempt to be short and quick to the baseball, one element to hitting mechanics that a lot of hitters and hitting coaches don't pay attention to is the foot plant of the stride foot and how that helps us to be short and quick to the baseball. Let me explain. Most hitters, regardless of how they stride, are going to get themselves into a position where they're ready to attack the baseball. They've stretched the big muscles, they've loaded the big muscles, where they're ready to unleash a blow to the baseball. When they land on their front foot, typically their, their weight is on the inside big toe of their front foot, and their heel is going to be slightly off the ground. Here's where the problem occurs. When I decide that I want to swing the bat, the first thing that I have to do is I have to engage my front heel into the clay. That happens subconsciously. We don't think about it. Okay? The problem is, is if my front heel spins back towards my back heel before it goes down. Now I've already talked. We only got four tenths of a second total. Two tenths of a second on a 90 mile an hour fastball after pitch recognition is left. That means if I decide I'm going to swing and I got to wait for my front heel to go back towards my back heel and then down onto the ground, that's eating up another portion of those, that two tenths that I have left to actually get off a good swing. That's a problem. But there's also another problem with improper foot plant. If my front heel spins, and I'll show you, if you can see my front foot right now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. As I load to hit, if I do this with my front foot before I engage it down, you'll notice my front knee starts to leak towards the third base dugout. That's a problem. And because we're connected, my front hip and my front shoulder start to prematurely leak away from contact. Now, am I still going to get my share of hits? I'm going to get my share of hits. But if you're talking about moving up from high school to varsity, to being a starting varsity player, to college, to being a start, starting college player, to a pro player, a high draft pick versus a low draft pick, moving up the, the minor league ranks. Sooner or later, a person who likes to spin on that front side and leak their front side out, it's going to cost them. So it's just something to think about because I really need to be short and efficient to the baseball. Now, to clarify, does every hitter have to be closed? No. What I mean by closed, if you see my front foot, what I mean by closed is when I stride, my front foot right now is basically parallel to the front of the plate. And when I have my foot plant, you're going to see that I maintain this squared position right here. That's because I have very flexible hips. Guys that don't have flexible hips, they're going to open their foot more. The accept acceptable angle is about 45 degrees from most hitting coaches. So I'll show you what that looks like. A 45 degree foot angle is about right there. But here's the key. If I, if I want to get my foot to a 45 degree angle because that's where I'm comfortable, I'm fine with that. But it needs to happen on the stride. So it needs to happen on the stride. So when I stride, I need to get in that position because I can control my front knee. I can control it. Now, you can see my foot's open, but where is my front knee? It's still inside my front foot. It hasn't leaked out here like I do when I spin my foot. When I spin my foot incorrectly, I can't control the knee. I can't keep it in. It just naturally goes. So if I'm going to stride open, I need to do so so my foot plant can go down immediately when I decide to swing. I want to decide hit, and I want that front foot in the ground so that I can hit into and around that front side. So, you know, we talk about the little things in baseball, that's something you may want to pay attention to, is your front foot. Are you spinning off on your front side or do you have efficient foot plant? Whether it's square or you stride slightly open and then put the foot down.